Yeah. Um, and you know what's remarkable about it? You know, hordes, hordes of homophobic Muslims are being imported into the West so they can shoot up gay nightclubs. And the left says nothing, except to blame those shootings on toxic masculinity. Another way to sort of subtly imply that actually it was all a creation of the uh, straight white male of the left and we're imposing these sort of toxic male ideas on, um, on these poor innocent immigrants. I'm not the self-hater. The whiny gay leftists who cry when I say something offensive but are silent in the face of an existential threat. They are the self-haters. They hate themselves so much that they want to commit suicide. Suicide by Islamic immigration. And that has got to stop. They've got to realize. Now let's get theological again for a second. The difference between submitting to God, as Mary did, allowing uh, him to, to enter her, uh, metaphorically, um, or probably literally too, um, and the way in which Muslims submit themselves to, al to Allah, of course, Islam meaning submission to the will of God, is, is important. God, as Christians encounter him, takes his creatures as beloved and elevates them to share in his divinity. He restores them to the image and likeness in which they were created. This kind of relationship is unthinkable in Islam. In other words, Muslims find it offensive to think that God could have lowered himself to become one of us, to become like Jesus. But they find it even more offensive to think that God would elevate his creatures to share in his divinity. Well, what does this have to do with women and gays? Well, the God of Christianity, the God of the Old Testament and of the New, the God, is a God of fire, consumed with love for his creatures, so much so that he entered Mary and, and of course, Rupert of Deutz, who you won't have heard of, a 12th century Benedictine. Now, Islamic men cannot bear to think of submitting to God in this way. And they can only really imagine themselves uh, sub, uh, dominating women. And they hate gays because gays submit in a way that they can't, which I think is why they find homosexuality so frightening. Perhaps it's just the whole mystery of sex. For them, I think the mystery has become menace. I think the femme has become too fatal. How else to explain the unique viciousness of, is of Islam toward homosexuals? A hundred million people live in countries, um, in Muslim countries, in which the penalty for being gay is death. The reason is subtle but important. If we don't understand it, uh, we can't fight it. 